Hello Plastic Model Builders, this is Ari Stone with Plastic Model Builder and this is part two of the LRA V22 Osprey 148 scale. In this video, we're gonna be assembling the rest of the fuselage and putting the wings and the flaps together. What you see me doing right now is we are putting in some weights to keep this thing weighted down because it's kind of heavy in the back. So what I've done here is I've made some weights out of bar that I have. I used a Dremel, cut them up, stuck them inside. These are fishing weights that I kind of bent in half and just kind of gotten there. This is going to be the rear door right here. So I'm breaking this off into two pieces. You see how I scored it just like that. And this is the opposite side. We're going to do the same thing except not break it all the way through. That way we can put these two halves together, really three pieces. And we can put this door on and then when I go to make this so the plane is open, we're just going to press that in a little bit. That way the doors will split and I can do this easier with masking. That way the door is shut and I won't have to mask off the inside. Work smarter, not harder. So we got our uh, weight there. I used top glue. Hot glue worked on some of them, some of them it didn't. Used it to press it down right there. Uh, be careful to fit. You want to make sure it fits. That way you can get the nose on. I got some weights on the inside. I did paint them black because there is a window that's on the side. So in order to not see them, I painted them black. That way it looks like it's just black on the inside. We've got our seats that we put on. If you remember, we assembled all that stuff in the last video. So go back and watch that if you haven't seen it. If you're doing this close, you see you're gonna have a little bit of a gap there as you just saw. This is the other half. Kind of have to press this in and go here it click. It's off just a little bit. Of course, go through, make sure you've got all your little cut lines off and things like that. Go through glue it together with your glue. I'm using some thin cement right here. And just go through, sometimes work slow, let it all dry. You see how I do that, right like that. And here, we've got the front, top, here's the bottom portion of this. Just go along the whole thing. You might have to do it twice, hold it together, that way some of it bonds. You know, they say if they put glue on it twice, it debonds it. But all it really does, it just kind of heats it up and rebonds it back together. So you see, we're just getting the underside of this. Sometimes you just, like I said, just do it twice if you have to, because that's what I will do. So right here we have our wings. You know, you got two for each side. You see how they go together? That's your top piece. And just put this together, just like that. We're also going to do the stabilizers on the rear. So if you keep watching, you'll see that. And they will do attach to the sides of the aircraft. You're also gonna have your uh, propellers and your engines, which will go right there, as you see, because this is a tilt. However, they don't tilt on this model. You may be able to buy something to make them tilt. So you see how the top, I'm just fitting that there. I had to do a little work here, cutting off these little edges on each side to get this fit. You see the other one right there, it's just a little bit, and then it fits better. Make sure you sand that down, you see right there. So here's the rear stabilizer, part of the rear tail, two halves, Get that together just like that and you're going to build the actual stabilizers which are also two halves two per each side and then you glue those together you see the model it's starting to really come together it's starting to look like an osprey finally got that little gap right there you're going to have to fill that so here are the two halves i was talking about put those together watch out for the tabs on top um, you can fill in and scrape away your cut marks later on from where you removed it from the sprue Make sure you don't get off that little top piece that you see there. It's that little tab sticking out right there. You see how these go together? Just like that, very simple. Put your glue on, make sure you don't drip it down the side of the aircraft like I did. Work smarter, not harder. If you just let it dry, it'll be all right. So you see you do have a little bit of sanding to do on this. It's not a lot because you just have your areas where you cut it from the sprue. And this is how it goes on simple they can only go one way you look at the pictures you'll get it figured out makes things kind of easy just like so that's the underside of it and there is not much of a gap when you put these on it goes together fairly well so that's a good thing so then just slap that onto the side there hold it a little bit make sure your glue sets if you want you could use some uh, really good tube glue and uh, that'll make it stick and we have these little things as four of these in total two for each side. Just line them up, little ducks, I believe they are. And you see inlets maybe, I'm not sure, somebody I'm sure can tell me. 
you see our window right there that we did in the last video so if you didn't see us put the windows in go back and watch that here's the other ones right here you see how easily they go in just put your glue on it should suck into those crevices right there and see like I said I'm doing that bottom one more time this area is a little bit wacky right here it fills in the uh, joint for that top portion once you have your wings that are dry you put this on and you see there's one on each side and there will be a gap when you actually put this on top of the fuselage the gap is supposed to be there it's a little triangular gap and you'll see that you kind of can see it right here at the top there it's just a little cut through so these they're the for the propellers there are different sides a right and a left they are not universal so you need to pay attention and those little inserts also only go one way so you have to make sure which side you are putting them into pay attention to that because you put the wrong one in it gets flipped and it looks kind of goofy and you don't want that this is the correct way to do it this here will be the propeller portion I'll show you how that spins just like that if you want you can put a little bit of like oil inside of there to lube it up or white grease and the props will spin you have your top that sits on top gets in that pin nicely you see how that gets glued down and you'll see how this goes that's just a test fit because like I said you need to make sure you put the right side on these things go on top of the uh, spinner right there the little cone make sure you clear away your flashing and you just kind of have to put these on glue them down nicely Make sure they don't move mine moved a little bit got to use my finger to straighten it out it's okay but you see how that goes there that glue will get into that and you've got three of those on each little propeller so I decided when I painted these just used my paint marker gave it a couple of coats here rather than breaking out the airbrush because of the way this sits it's kind of hard to see the inside of it so you get that good make it look pretty it's model making madness go all along the edges of this just like we're doing here then you have this you know if this piece were made in rubber it would have been a lot better because you could actually make these uh, rotors go up and down but they didn't do that so maybe if you have a 3d printer you can print something in rubber do that now this is the inside of where the engine would be you've got your outlet intake right there paint that later on you can just spray some paint inside of it you see how each of these goes has a little round area right there that you got to put the glue on then just put the top half on top of it uh, we have these right here like I said if they were done in rubber it'd be a lot better but they weren't you got to make sure the hose is kind of facing the back of this so when you sit it on there you see how that twisted just like that because you will need that so this can sit in just like that and that hose can go into the little whole area right there and that's what that's going to look like so you do have to make sure you paint that in the end make sure it gets done I tried two ways that way I could see which one I liked the best and that way you guys can see which way you may want to figure out how you want to do it so that's why I left one side painted and one not just see well hey maybe if I do it this way it's smarter because I might have to repaint anyway we're putting that cap on there you see because these things don't move closing this up and then we will put the ducts or inlets or outlets. I'm not sure which ones they will be, but they do go on the sides of these. You see we're in a, just going over the glue right here. And that's the outlet, I believe, or the inlet. I don't know if these things are jets or what they are. I know they're clearly propellers, but they've got some big intakes and looks like they have turbines. But you see how those get put on there just like so. So when you put these on the insides at least the spinny part right there is universal however as I told you the propellers they will not be universal and I got a little hint of that earlier which I showed you and we will show you building the propellers got this little insert that goes inside of this right here make sure you glue that down so this is the top portion it, you just have to place it on and eyeball it and hope you get it right and then hope it doesn't move and that's how I did that saying this is the other side you see it's the same thing not exactly easy there are no directions to tell you where exactly to place it you just have to look at it and be like okay this looks good same thing with this you line it up over the hole you hope for the best expect the worst and that's how it turns out 
more model making, madness, and making things look pretty. So you see there you've got like your turbines, which is why you wonder if this thing's half jet, half propeller. So here is one propeller blade right here. Two halves, you put them together. Make sure you get all the sanding out of it, just like that. Um, sand them down, file them, whatever you need to do. The decals for those, which you'll see in a later video, are kind of sketchy. You may want to do your best and um, apply the stripes for those with paint. So you see, you can tell the rotaries which angle they're facing. One is up and one is down for a left side and a right side. And you have to study the directions to make sure you put each one properly, which is what I did. You see you have a little gap there on some of these, so just fill them in if you need to. If not, not the end of the world because in theory the blades will fold, not on this model, but that's how they are done. This is the top as you see going back on. We are actually going to glue this on now. You see we have a fairly decent fit. You will need some putty on that. What can I say? It's a model. You're going to have to do some modeling on this one or buy a higher end Osprey. Got our wheels. You have two rear wheels and one front wheel. We're putting those on right now. That's the smaller wheel. Just putting them together. Very easy. I didn't bother cleaning off the tabs until afterwards before when I go to paint. You see them right there. This is the canopy. Uh, they didn't make this sprue the best, so you kind of slowly have to cut it off. That way you don't ruin anything. And wait till that breaks off. That will go. That's the front glass right there. You just have to take your time with it. So this is pretty much it. Sand it and file it. Put this on. By the way, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. Glue this down. Make it look good. And as always, until next time, see ya.